is up everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can see by the title we have yet another testing Kylie Jenner outfits from Fashion Nova now you guys may already know I've done a couple of these videos in the past and you guys always seem to really like them because I feel like Kylie is such an icon when it comes to fashion and every time that Fashion Nova recreates one of her outfits it literally sells out instantly so I actually managed to get my hands on a couple of different dresses from Fashion Nova that are inspired by the ones that Kylie Jenner has worn on her Instagram all of these dresses I'm going to show you guys are basically just replicas of her original designer dresses because let's be real Kylie Jenner mostly wears designer clothing but let me tell you Fashion Nova literally kills it pretty much every time they always seem to replicate the dress pretty much spot on so if you guys haven't seen the previous episodes of me trying out different Kylie Jenner inspired outfits from Fashion Nova I will list them all in the eye as well as the description also if you guys are brand new here and I've never seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to subscribe and stick around make sure you hit that red button down below but without further ado if you guys want to see what I picked up from fashionnova.com this time then let's get on into the video okay so the very first item that I have is this dress right here I'm sure you guys can probably already tell which outfit this is from Kylie's Instagram now this in fact is the dress that I tried to buy for my recreating Kylie's and Stasi's Instagram photos that I filmed with Jazzy Bum if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it in the eye but basically they didn't have this in stock whilst I was filming that video so I was so annoyed but I managed to get my hands on it now. So this is what the dress looks like and oh my god it literally looks spot on. So this is actually meant to be a replica of the Balenciaga dress that they wore in this photo right here. So they do actually have it in this color which is the one that Kylie was wearing but they also do have it in the navy color that Stasi was wearing. I feel like these dresses are perfect for like a twinning moment. If you're going out with your girlfriend and you want to dress up really cool but kind of different this is perfect because it's the same dress but in two different colors. I'm just obsessed with the quality quality of it. The texture is so nice. The actual texture of this dress, which is kind of like crushed velvet, looks exactly the same as Kylie's dress, which I'm really, really impressed with. And also the neckline is exactly the same, which was very difficult to find actually when I was filming my video recreating the photo. I actually got this dress in a size S, so let's pop it on and see how this actually fits. Okay, what the actual hell? This fits so freaking well. I'm shook. I'm actually shook. I did not think this dress would fit this nicely. I'm actually obsessed. It fits so well. <laughs> wow, okay. Fashion Nova. You have snapped. I know I love bodycon dresses and I'm kind of biased towards them because obviously I love them, but this one fits exceptionally well. I don't know if it's the style of it or if it's the fabric, but it just looks so flattering for some reason. I'm not out here trying to blow my own trumpet, but I feel like this looks pretty good on me. Obviously, Kylie and I have very different body shapes, but I feel like this dress actually gives me a lot more curves than I usually naturally have. I love the neckline so freaking much. Like, it just looks so delicate, it looks very flattering, and it looks exactly like the designer dress. What the hell? I've got to say it, I'm obsessed. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. This has literally stolen my heart. I love this dress, and I kind of wish I got it in the navy as well. Now, the next Kylie-inspired dress I'm really actually excited about because it's this one right here. So, as you can see, the pattern's a little bit, like, strange. It's a little bit different, and it's basically supposed to be kind of like a tie-dye effect. So, this dress right here, here is actually a two-piece dress so it comes with the actual dress itself which is basically oh this is interesting it's basically like a ruched sort of dress this is basically a long bodycon vest dress is that even a thing like the top half it literally just looks like a muscle tank and then the bottom is cinched in and like really ruched which I think is really cool and then the cool thing about it is that it actually also comes with a pair of gloves which I think is so freaking extra so this is the glove all the fingers <laughs> and then it's got like the ruching once again which I just think this is the most extra dress I've ever seen <laughs> also I just quickly want to say this dress is called my ride or die dress which I mean that just sells it to me. It's not like I have a palette that's literally called my ride or die palette in collaboration with Revolution. <laughs> Cheeky little plug, I'm sorry, I just had to. This is my ride or die palette, it's my baby. If you guys haven't checked it out already, 
I will link it in the description. But anyways, back to the dress. Now Kylie actually wore this dress over on her Instagram and she was actually posing with Stormy in the photo and Stormy was wearing a matching set just like this. I just thought it was so adorable and I had to get this. Again, I got this in a size S. I really hope this is gonna look good on me. I'm not really the type of person to wear such like bold patterns and colors, but I'm kind of digging it, especially with the gloves. So let's see how it looks. So this is the next outfit. And let me just say, this one is definitely interesting for sure. I mean, look at the blooming gloves. This outfit is so extra, it's got its own gloves. I absolutely love the fit of this outfit. I mean, I'm not sure if the gloves are for me. They definitely kind of give something a little bit extra to the outfit, but personally, I just wanna talk about the dress. The dress is so cute. Like it's actually so nicely fitting. It's ruched all the way on the bottom until it gets to like your under boob area. And then it goes like soft fabric, which I think is so cool. I've never seen a dress that's kind of like half ruched, half not. The pattern is just so cool. It's not really something I'd ever want to choose to wear, but now that I've got it on, I actually really like it. Now let's compare this outfit to the original photo of Kylie wearing her outfit and I mean, I don't really see much difference in terms of the dress. Granted, the pattern of the dress may be a little bit different, but it did say on Fashion Nova that every dress has a different pattern, so that's pretty cool. I feel like they've really replicated this dress so well, and I'm obsessed. I really love the way it fits on my body. I don't know why, but I just feel so badass in this outfit. Again, I feel like Fashion Nova absolutely killed it with this one, so I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Now the next dress is this one right here. It's basically the white dress with like the fuzzy faux fur kind of thing that Kylie wore on her Instagram. I'll pop a photo on the screen right now. This one is called Here For The Drama Mini Dress. I am not here for the drama. I am the least problematic YouTuber on this planet. Do not involve me in any of your drama, but I'm quite fond of this dress. So this dress actually cost $42. And I've got to say, for what it is, I don't think that's actually an excessive price to pay just because this literally is one of the most extra and extravagant looking dresses that I've ever seen on Fashion Nova. So this is it. It's basically like a satin fabric. It's got all of these little like buttons all down the dress. The sleeves on this dress are so different, but really cool. They're basically like bell sleeves, but then this part here is like really fitted. And then on the other side, it's got this like string of white fluff. This is basically like a faux feather sort of effect. And I just think that looks so extra and so bougie. But I just absolutely fell in love with this dress when I saw Kylie wear it on her Instagram. And I can already tell I'm gonna love this dress. So this next dress is a replica of this one right here. And as you can see, it is very close, but it's not spot on, unfortunately. I feel like this dress is a lot more difficult to recreate than some of the other ones in this video, especially this part here. Now in Fashion Nova's replica of this dress, the little like feather boa or whatever it's called isn't really as thick as the original dress. And I feel like that's kind of what lets it down the most. If this had been just a tad bit thicker and more of it, I feel like it actually would have looked pretty close. The fabric of the actual dress and the sleeves and all the little buttons and ruching is pretty much spot on. When I'm looking at the photo, I'm kind of like, yep, that is it. But there's still something about this dress that's not quite the same for me. And I guess objectively looking, I guess that is just this feather thing. This feather boa is taking the whole spotlight, you guys. But regardless, I still feel like this is a very pretty and very luxurious looking dress. I would definitely feel like a million bucks wearing this to like a party. It fits really nicely. If you look at the dress a lot, it does actually give me quite a lot of shape. It gives me that nice curvy figure. I think what I'm doing wrong is I'm wearing the sleeves a little bit too low. There we go. That looks a lot better, does it not? Overall, I feel like Fashion Nova did a really good job replicating this dress as much as they could. Yes, the feather isn't exact, but it's still very close. So I think I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Okay, now the next one is yet another kind of like bougie, super fancy, super expensive looking dresses. It's basically this one right here. This is called the JC Embellished Maxi Dress in Nude. This one cost $52. This one is very sheer because it's literally just made of like this mesh material with little tiny like pearls attached all over it. Kylie literally wore a dress just like this on her Instagram and here's the photo of it. 
I fell in love with this. I just thought it was so cool, so pretty, but it looked very expensive. So to find something like this for only $50 is actually not that bad of a price, I think. Okay, thank God. So this is the dress, right? This is how it looks. I was so worried that this would be really sheer so that like you would see my underwear and as you can see the rest of it is but luckily it actually comes with like a little bandeau right here and also I can see through the fabric it's got little pants as well so hopefully I should not be flashing anyone in this. Also I've got to say this dress does have some like hefty weight to it. It's actually really really heavy. I guess that's just all the pearls weighing it down so much but let's try it on and see how it fits. Wow okay this dress is honestly so stunning. I kind of just feel like I need to go to a red carpet event now. So please can someone very kindly invite me to a red carpet because I'll be wearing this. I don't know why, but I kind of get like ice skating vibes from this dress just because maybe it's the like meshy sort of tan fabric. Obviously ice skaters wear this sort of fabric sometimes. And like the sequins and like the little pearls make me think of ice. This is literally gorgeous. I don't think I've ever worn or owned a more perfect dress. It's quite hard to show you guys how long this dress is, but it is quite long as you can see. It does go all the way down to the floor. Also, this dress is very comfortable. Like, it literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. Um, I do kind of get like the cold spot here and there because the gems are kind of like attached on the other side of the fabric with like a metal thing and therefore when you first put it on you're kind of like oh this is chilly but after a while you do get used to it and it does warm up needless to say i'm obsessed with this dress i think it's gorgeous i think it fits so well and i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. In fact, I think this deserves like an 11 out of 10. <laughs> now the last item I'm going to try out for you guys today is this dress right here. So this is actually supposed to be a replica of this dress that Kylie was wearing again with Stasi. I'm not 100% sure what designer this is supposed to be a replica of, but it looked pretty similar on the website. I do have to say I'm not 100% sure that this is going to be exactly the same color because Kylie's dress kind of looked like a burnt brown slash orange, whereas this is kind of like super vibrant and it almost looks red. So right off the bat, the color isn't exactly correct, but this is what the dress looks like from the front. It's very, very simple. It's literally just a bodycon dress with a high neck, but everything is literally happening on the back of it. It's got like this whole ruched effect at the back with kind of like a cutout just on your lower back. On Fashion Over, this is called the Feeling Spicy Dress. This was $27.99. I've got to say, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like this dress. From the front, it seems okay. But the back, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to sit on my body. So I guess let's just give it a go. Okay, so this is the next dress. And I've got to say... It's okay. I kind of knew when I was buying it, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much as the other ones, but I still thought I'd pick it up to try it out for you guys anyway. It's very tight fitting and body fitting, and I usually like that, but I don't know if I like it in this sort of fabric. You can literally see my belly button. Like, you can see every sort of lump and bump of my body, and... I don't know if that's gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I definitely don't think it is mine. The fit of the dress, however, is really nice. Like, I actually like how bodycon it is. <laughs> I like bodycon things, okay? And then let's just take a look at the back. This is what it looks like at the back. So it's supposed to kind of have like this slither of skin right here, which you can kind of see right now. And I tried to cinch the back of this dress as much as I could. There we go, that's a little bit better. I actually really quite like the back of the dress because it's a little bit more ruched and it has like texture, but the front, I just feel like it's a little bit too plain for me. This isn't the worst dress I've ever seen or anything, but I probably wouldn't choose to wear this. So I'm gonna give this like a four out of 10. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and be sure to subscribe as well let me know down below in the comments which one of these dresses was your favorite would you actually wear them and how close do you think fashion over managed to get to the original item i feel like most of the dresses were actually pretty much spot on the last one i'm not 100 sure maybe it's just the fact that the color was off i definitely feel like all of the other ones were pretty close though if you guys did enjoy this video do let me know down below in the comments because i actually have another one lined up from ebay i basically just picked up a bunch of clothes 
clothing from eBay that had the listing of like Kylie wearing their clothes and so I thought I'd do another one of these videos just like this but with eBay stuff instead. So if you guys would like to see that soon let me know in the comments below. That is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.